Alrighty guys, welcome back to more Pokemon Team Rocket Edition in the last episode. We uh, defeated the Chief of Police down in the casino, and in this episode we're back here in this town, which I can't remember its name, but what we're going to do is head into the Pokemon Tower now that we have got the Ghost Scope. So, let's head in there right now and see if there is uh, any differences in here. So, Pokemon Cemetery was erected in the memory of Pokemon that had died. Alright, uh, what does this person say? I'm a channeler. There are spirits up to mischief. Alright, uh... I lost my Graveler in battle. Okay, then if you lost in battle, then just go to the Pokemon Center. It didn't die by what you just said. What are you doing here? Team Rocket is the reason we're here. Wow, sorry. I didn't mean to offend anybody. Isn't it strange that these Pokemon died? Uh, okay, I guess it is. I mean, everything dies eventually. That's the moral of the story for you kids. Everything dies. No, I'm kidding, but, well, not really, but I mean, you don't have much to worry about. Even we could not identify the wayward ghosts. A ghost scope might be able to unmask them. I do have the ghost scope, so yeah, I guess it's about time I got here anyway. And what we are going to do is just see what's going on here, and there is Taylor. Hey, Stu, we must be the lucky ones. Our Pokemon don't die, they only faint. Let's see if I can kill yours. Wow, okay. So, uh, here we have Taylor, our rival, and she is going to lead off with a Raticate that is on level 25. Where's your Pokemon on like level 40 back in the uh, on the boat? Did, was I meant to come here first and then go to? Uh, I think I was meant to actually come in here first. So it looks like we're gonna destroy Taylor with uh, Charizard because I'm way too overpowered. So her next Pokemon is Doduo. Yeah, she had a Dodrio last time I believe. So I definitely was meant to come in here first rather than going to the SSN, which is sort of weird because in the actual red, blue, and yellow, you're meant to go to the SSN first and then come to the Lavender Tower, but it looks like we're going the uh, opposite way this time, and yeah, I'm gonna just like demolish her with Charizard. So that's pretty good, I guess. Take that thing out with a uh, slash. I've got a critical hit on everything. I don't even need the critical hit. I, I'm so overpowered. I don't even need it, but uh, I guess it helps. So Cubone level 22 will slash that as well, and uh, that is gonna get taken out as well with another critical hit. Uh, slash with its high critical hit ratio will tend to get critical hits, obviously. So. Our final Pokemon is going to be our Ekans, it's on level, uh, probably 20-something as well, maybe 30. Uh, it's on 24, okay, uh, yeah, I was definitely meant to come here first, rather than going all the way to this ship, that was my own fault. But anyway, uh, there we go, Taylor's defeated. It doesn't even make sense, though, if we're meant to come here first, because we got the weapon off the guy, and he said that she was going to the boat, so why would we not, like, kill her with the weapon, which is what we're intended, what we were meant to do, and, uh, eventually just meet her here. It doesn't make much sense to me, but uh, it doesn't really matter too much, I guess. It doesn't affect the story, I don't think. So, let's just see if there's anything around here. Nope, doesn't look like it. And uh, I checked for hidden item. There's nothing there. So, let's just keep going this way. Let me switch my Pokemon around. I should probably put... Actually, I don't really think I can do much to ghost types with Dragonair. I don't have actually anything for ghost types apart from my uh, my uh, uh, Polyrath. Which is already on level uh, 44, so I don't really want to use that too much. Nothing up that way, I thought there was like a way up, but just a dead end. And we got a wild battle against a Haunter level 39, so... The Pokemon are actually pretty threatening in here, let me just spray your Max Repel. Because we don't want to get any more wild battles. And we are going to take on this person, so let's see what Pokemon they have. Be gone, Evil Spirit! Okay, so she has a Ghastly level 36, we're gonna Ember that twice. And actually three times, because it takes three hits apparently. And there we go, it'd be that Channeler with our Charizard, and then we're gonna just uh, head around here and take on the next one who is standing right here, and hopefully, well, no, she will have uh, ghost types, obviously, so she has Ghastly as well, level 33, and we're gonna Ember that a few times and take it out, there we go, definitely need to switch around because, well, Charmand, or Charmander, Charizard is hurt, and I uh, should more than likely just use my uh, Polyrath, not Corsage, the Vile Blue, we'll use uh, Polyrath, because I did teach it Psychic, and even though it might not do that much damage, it'll still probably take these things out quickly. So, uh, let's take on this Ghastly with a Psychic, and it's a 2 hit KO at least, and we got put to sleep, and uh, we can't wake up, which is fantastic. So, uh, great, we just lost. Um, let's go to uh, Aragon and just go for a Thunderbolt, I guess, and finish it off. And get to level 43, which is sweet, but that was horrible. Good work there. Uh, good work from my uh, Polyrath. That did very well, not, but let's just not... Uh, Heal it up with the revive and a um, hyper potion, and we'll heal up Salamander too to speed up all the healing. Cause there's no point in like watching that in normal speed; it just takes too long. So 
I wouldn't mind, but that trainer was like completely avoidable. I just wanted to battle her for the sake of battling. So another uh, trainer here with the ghastly. We're gonna psychic that, and it's a. I'm switching out. I don't care if she goes for dream eater. I don't care. We're gonna switch out, and we're just gonna thunderbolt. There we go. That's not bad. I wish I had awakenings, but I don't. So I'm gonna just switch Aragon to the front, and we're just gonna spam uh, thunderbolts the whole time we're in here because that's the only thing I can really do. So let's just uh, grab this item. Hopefully, I I don't think I put. Yeah, I knew I didn't put the. Uh, HMs for cut and uh, fly in the PC. So, what will I use? I don't even think I'll use anything. I, I should put the lift key in there too. Oh, what is this TM? This is like horn drill. Yeah, I'm not keeping horn drill. So, we're just going to toss that and uh, see what this item is here. It is an awakening. Great. So, I can use that right now. That's actually good stuff. Good pickup. So, let's just use that awakening to wake up our uh, polyrath. And not on Aragon. I think we use on Aragon. I forgot I switched Aragon to the front. And there we go. Polyrath is now awoken. And we can just uh, take on some more trainers, I guess. I like how this place is sort of like woods rather than, uh, well, actually, that doesn't make sense because it's a building, but you're just surrounded by trees and stuff. That doesn't make sense. Uh, anyway, this person has a ghastly. We're going to thunderbolt that, and that is a 2 at KO. 3 at KO, actually. Next to another ghastly, and that is a 2 at KO. There we go. That's a 2 at KO. So we take that out. And there we go to feed that channeler. And now we are going to grab this item, which is an elixir. That's actually a very helpful item. That's good. And now we'll take on this person who is uh, going to have a Ghastly as well. And that is a 3 hit KO, I think. Uh, yeah, that's a 3 hit KO. So another Thunderbolt will finish that. We're running low on Thunderbolts, but I do have Max Ethers, and I do have an Ether, and I do have an Elixir. So we're good for uh, getting up our PP again. So let's just grab this. Actually, we have no room for items. I'm actually going to use that Ether I have here because I need to get that PP back for uh, Thunderbolts. So there we go. Get the PP restored. And we're going to grab this item. It's a HP up, which I'm actually going to use now just to get it out of the way. So I can actually uh, pick up another item if I need to. So HP up is going to be used on uh, Aragon, I guess, because it doesn't have my low. It does have the lowest HP of all my Pokemon, so I might as well give it to that. And when we get up here, we're going to head up in this way. And I don't even know where the end of this place is. I hope it's not too long. It doesn't seem like it's too long. And we got another battle. That's fantastic. So you shall join us. All right. So she has a uh, a Ghastly in level 37. We're going to Thunderbolt that twice, and we're got put to sleep, and we're about to die. So let's go to Ollie and just bubble beam and there we go. And uh, yeah, great, we lost our uh, Dragonair, so I'm going to have to use a revive and a hyper potion again. And I'm actually nearly out of hyper potions. So I'll stock up on more of those after I get done here. We'll see how much money I have. And uh, yeah, we have, wow, we have a lot of money. So again, I can just stock up if I need to. And I only have two badges, I don't believe this. But let's take on this trainer here who is going to ask for my soul, but she has a Haunter. Level 35, I'm going to Thunder Wave that, and uh, we're just going to switch out now that we're confused and go to Ollie, go for a Bubble Beam, and now we'll finish off with a uh, Psychic, hopefully. Yes, alright, sweet. So, defeated that, and uh, that was pretty easy. That was that was good times, that was good times. So, let me just use a uh, Paralysis Heal on my uh, Polyrath, and we will get ready to take on another Trainer. Kind of wish there was the Healing Up place. Oh, wow, she just like looked away. Hey, I'm looking at you. Uh... I can't rest here. There's nothing there. I don't see anything. It's like she, it's like the, the creator of the hack covered up the uh, the healing spot just so I couldn't use it. But anyway, Thunderbolt is a 2 KO. There we go. That's not bad at all. And we can uh, just uh, grab the item that's down here and see what it is. It is, in fact, a Nugget, which we have another one up, so that's not going to take a bag space. And we can just sell that for 5000 which is good. And now we can take on this person who has a Haunter. So we're going to Thunder Wave that and uh, hopefully make it fully paralyzed. Uh, missed. Great. There we go. Aragon takes that thing out, and now we can uh, just head up to the top, which is this way, and uh, hopefully this is the end. Nope, we still have another floor to go. Uh, here is a rare candy, which we can use on a Pokemon to level it up, obviously, and I'll probably use that if one of my Pokemon faints instead of using, or, well, actually, it doesn't make a difference. I have a ton of revives, but anyway, this person has a Ghastly, so we're going to Thunderbolt that and take it out in the next turn with another one. No, uh, no, great, we died. Uh, let's go to Ollie and just uh, Psychic that, so there we go. Wasn't too bad, but that should have been avoided, I think. I think I'm going to switch somebody else in the front because uh, Aragon keeps fainting. So we're going to go with probably Corsage, I guess. They can't really do much to Corsage, but Corsage can't do much to them because they're all Poison and uh, Poison and Grass, or not Grass, Poison and Ghost. So that's not really going to help me too much. I'm all out of Hyper Potions now, so that's just good news for everybody. And let's grab this item, which is X Accuracy. That is... A fantastic item. That's the best item I could have ever picked up, ever. So what I'm going to do is switch... I think we'll go with Salamander, actually. Salamander will probably be able to battle these guys a lot better than... 
Corsage. So let's take this thing on here, and uh, this thing is actually a person, but she has a Ghastly in level 35, we're gonna Ember that a few times and take it out. Ghastly again, which we're gonna Ember again a few times, and hopefully take out. Nope, we're, I'm not staying in to get, uh, not Nightshaded, but, well, I got Nightshaded anyway, but I wasn't, I wasn't staying in so I could get, uh, Dream Eater. So, going up to Hunter, we'll go to Aragon and we'll go for a uh, Thunder Wave, get that thing paralyzed. I used Thunder Wave again by mistake, got confused, we're gonna switch out. And go to Ollie, and we got paralyzed. Great, let's psychic that thing. And that's a 2 hit KO at least, and we got fully paralyzed and fully paralyzed. There we go. And Ollie, uh, that was horrible. This place is horrible. I don't like this at all. I need something to deal with ghost types, and even then, there's not really much I have. Apart, I don't, like, all you have to take on ghosts in this game is psychic types, and that's because they have, uh, poison in, they're like poisoning ghosts. They're not just pure ghosts. So, let me just use a, uh, full restore on, I guess, Salamander just to get rid of the, uh, sleep status infliction and we'll take on this person next to us a ghastly so we'll go for a uh, ember a few times and uh please stop getting confused there we go take that thing out at least and uh that is horrible this is horrible this is going so bad like these guys are so overpowered with their ghost types so let's switch corsage to the front i think it's about time we started using this uh vile plume and uh hopefully we're at the end be gone intruders so it looks like we are at the end and what we have here is the ghost! So, uh, here's the ghost, and the ghost scope unveils the ghost as, uh... Marowak! Okay, it's the same thing. So, let's go for a pedal dance and just one hit KO that thing. There we go. And the ghost of- the ghost was the soul of the restless- whatever. Cubone's mom. She gets- she- she was restless and we helped her. So, uh, looks like we got some- some police here. And we'll see- oh, alright, they want to battle, so it's basically like Team Rocket. We are here to protect Mr. Bank. Okay, so need a Reno. Uh, what we're gonna do is switch out into uh, Meow Wow. So let's go for a bite and take that out in one hit. Next Pokemon is need Arena. We'll bite that, and that's a three hit KO. Finally, Cubone, which will bite a few times. And there we go. So way to go, Meow Wow, taking that thing out. And what we are gonna do is take on the next person. But first, I'm gonna switch Meow out to the front. This guy's going to tell the chief what went down, and what went down was me uh, destroying him. So let's switch Meow out to the front again and see if uh, these guys have anything too threatening and here we go so this guy says we won't let you miss blah, 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 blah. we won't let you reach mr bank so this guy has a nine tails wow uh two bites takes that out a kingler is next which we're gonna go to corsage for and just pedal dance and uh, that's one of ko so that's awesome that's really good i'm so glad i finally have a grass type i'm not the biggest fan of vile plume but i need a grass type badly i also need an electric type i can't wait to get electables or something really good Blah, 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 because the uh, Electabuzz is awesome. You're not getting past, kid. Okay, so this guy here is a Haunter. A Haunter. A Haunter. A Haunter. Alright, so, uh, great. Got put to sleep. Uh, let's go to Aragon and... Hey, come on, man. Sleep Claws. What are you doing? There is such thing as Sleep Claws, you know. So let's go for a Thunderbolt, and that is doing no damage whatsoever. At least we fainted, so he didn't get he didn't get the satisfaction to take me out. I killed myself. So let's go for an Ember, and uh, just hopefully burn this thing. Or just take it out, there we go. Level 45 for something, I think it was Meow Wow. Clefable is next, so, uh, Ollie got to level 45, okay. Let's go to Meow Wow to take this thing on and bite it and get taken out. Now we'll go to Corsage and just pedal dance. As we are getting demolished, oh my god. Did that thing just... Wow, okay. Uh, hello, hit please. Um, there we go, finally, wow, okay, I'm about to lose badly. Let's go for Ember and, uh, yeah, I'm done. I cannot win this battle at all. Unless I, like, have to use Fiero to win the battle. I'll use a Super Potion to heal up a little bit. And now we're asleep, so I'm done. I am as good as done. Uh, let's go for an Ember, and, uh, can we get the burn or something? Can we win? Can we win? No, uh, let's go to Fiero, I guess, and just go for Fly. And Fiero gets the kill, and Muck is last. I'm gonna be fighting this thing forever. Uh, come on, Fiero, you got this. Fiero has got this. Fiero has got this. Come on, Firo. Come on, Firo. You got this. Yes! <laughs> Firo actually killed it. Wow. Way to go, Firo. You're not intended to be a party member, but you did good. You're not getting away with this. I... Oh, but I hate this game so much, but I love it as well. What do you want? Where do my guards go? Please, I don't want any trouble. All I have is this poker flute. Fine, I'll give it to you. Just don't hurt me. Okay, so uh, we're going to get the poker flute off this guy, and I almost lost. I pretty much need to train up some more, I think. Anyway, there's the Poke Flute. And uh, now that we've done that, I think we will wrap it up here. But I definitely need to heal up first because we got absolutely demolished. 
our team got like absolutely wrecked. So let's just go to the Pokemon Center. And I kind of don't want Fearow to die just because of its heroics. And it didn't so great, it survived. But there we go, all healed up. Pokemon are fighting fit. And with all that said and done, I'm going to wrap it up here in the next episode. We're probably going to do whatever else we can. I may go back to fight that gym where the casino was. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys for more shortly enough. So, catch you then.